Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so if you made it this far, I don't have to tell you that this job sucks. This is an 05 Silverado, uh, 2500 HD. Um, I have reason to believe that the HD chassis is a little different in the dash. I don't know exactly what it is, but the other videos I've mentioned seem to make the actuator replacement for the passenger side seem, uh, I mean, it's still a sucky job, but they make it seem like it's not that bad. Let me tell you, you can't get any kind of socket or ratchet or anything to get to the bolts uh, on these things. So uh, the other thing is mine had two different size bolts in it, and I don't believe it's ever been changed. I have no reason to believe it ever has. Um, so I'll show you what I did. Now, I've seen a couple other videos. Uh, one other video was an 03, I think, that the guy was doing. And he actually took the whole dash cap off. And up to that point, I was like, okay, well, if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. And then he took a hacksaw blade and cut the air duct. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. That's, that's kind of bad. Uh, so the inside bolt closest to the center... Um, it's really hard for me out here in the dark with the work light and stuff to show you, but it's back in there, of course. I'm sure you've seen other videos. Let me see if I can get, uh, so you can see the stem. Maybe you can't. Let's see. You can see the stem of the door right here, if it'll focus. And then there's a bolt standoff right there. That thing is so hard to get to because the duct is so close. Um, when you've got the actuator in there, you have no room. So I was trying to think up a way to get enough clearance, and I did. So I took my long uh, pry bar and wedged it up in there. I'll show you kind of exactly where I did it. Uh, Move the harness out of the way, of course, to kind of get some some clearance there and then I just grabbed this mallet but I just needed something to space it and keep tension on it. so it's got tension on it right now and then I did have to make a special tool and I'll show you what I made here so I took one of my long wrenches this is just a 3 8 wrench and I took my 5 16 socket and I used a spare bolt and a tap and I tap threads into the center of the socket and then tightened it down to make a long reach, low profile uh, wrench because my quarter inch wrench, I tossed it down here, is just too thick. And every little bit makes a difference. So I was able to get it out. Uh, the, that, that bolt on that side on the far left um, is not as deep, uh, as deeply threaded in so it's only took like four turns maybe with that little doing like a third of a turn each time to get it out. And there it is. So I've been fighting this for now about maybe an hour and a half uh, to get all this out. And uh, another tip that I think you might find helpful, the three bolts, I believe it's three, that hold the glove box hinge on. Um they do hold the glove box hinge, but there are also two rivets where they rivet the whole thing together. I took a, just a drill bit and just drilled the heads off so that I could get the whole glove box door out of my way. I feel like it's a little bit easier having some room in here and I'm not fighting this door down by my feet while I'm sitting here trying to work. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at here. Um, now I'm just waiting for the part. Uh, that's a job for tomorrow, but at least I got this far. Um, so yeah, just to recap, you'll take your glove box, either take it down, uh, just flop it down. You know, there's a release over here. Just flop it down. I, to me, like I say, it makes it easier just for me to take it off. So I did the vents, they pull out, uh, you can pop them out from the back. That's no big deal. Both sides, uh, to get the airbag out, there's two 10 millimeter bolts here and here that go up from the bottom. And there's also on the tops is uh, 10 millimeter bolts as well. And that kind of sucks because um, what I did, I show you my, I took the harness, just unclipped the harness junction out so that I could get my hand in here. 
and go up to the top with my quarter inch uh, 10 millimeter. And this one was not too bad, uh, but this one just kind of seemed kind of awkward to me. Um, and then, like I said, if, you know, you pull your dash bezel off. I pulled the radio and everything out thinking I was going to have to just keep on going. I got the cluster all tilted up over there and everything. So, uh, so I hope this helps you guys. Uh, I don't want to make it too long. I know everybody gets impatient. They want information now, but I feel like, to be honest with you, this is the easiest way. You got to get that duct up to have enough clearance. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy.